on these two problems, you're asked to find a, use a proportion to find the following uh, variable, the missing value. And these are just set up in a very specific way that makes it very easy to see the proportion. Uh, it basically gives you two scenarios. The first scenario says 8 inches in 25 minutes. And so that's your first uh, ratio. That's saying that whatever this is can do 8 inches, maybe it's a snail or something like that, can travel 8 inches in 25 minutes. And then we want to find out if how far or how long it would take that same person or that same thing to go 28 inches. And notice the 28 inches go on top because the inches are there together. And then on the bottom, we're going to have X, and that will give us minutes because minutes are the bottom here. Remember, you line up the proportions such that it's true vertically and horizontally. Vertically, these are the two scenarios, 8 over 25, 28 over X. And then horizontally, you have the, the distance over the distance with the units the same over the time and the time with the units the same. So we know X is going to give us an answer in terms of minutes. So now we should do the cross multiplication or cross products. That gives us 8x equals 25 times 28, which is going to be 700. So 8x equals 700. Divide both sides by 8, and you get x equals 700 divided by 8, which is 87.5. So if something's moving at a rate of 8 inches per 25 minutes, that means it can go 28 inches in 87.5 minutes. The second one says you can go uh, goes through three gallons in seven hours. So we just do three gallons over seven hours. We want to find out, well that's equivalent to how many gallons, so we don't know, that's what we're trying to find out, in 20 hours. So three gallons in seven hours equal to how many gallons in 20 hours? Well you just do your cross product. And so it's going to be 7x equals 20 times 3, which is 60. Divide both sides by 7, and you get x equals 60 over 7 gallons in 20 hours. So if you go 3 gallons in 7 hours, and you get 60 over 7 gallons in 20 hours, or equivalently 8 and 4 sevenths gallons in 20 hours.